In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make this Telegram AI agent that can do custom actions for you, like getting contacts through Google Sheets, adding calendar events, and also sending emails to those contacts inside of your Google Sheets. It also stores all of this chat right here inside a window buffer memory. So to demo this, I'm just going to send it a message saying, please set up a meeting with Pablo tomorrow at 5 p.m. and let him know. So it's going to do is it is going to fetch my contacts in here. It's going to set up this meeting with Pablo, as you can see right here. And it also sends a email to Pablo, as you can see right here, we got a new email saying, hi, Pablo, I've scheduled a meeting tomorrow uh, at 5 p.m. Looking forward to our discussion or something like that. It also sends a message back to us in Telegram, giving us a quick summary of what it just did. So now we're going to start off in a completely new NHN and workflow here. So you can see step by step how you can actually make this Telegram AI agent for yourself. So we're just going to click on Add First Step and we are going to find the Telegram in here. And we are going to click on that. And in here, we want to find the uh, on message. There we go. And the on message we are going to call by actually setting up these credentials right here. So you need to click on this, and click on Create New Credential. And in here, as you can see, you need an access, access token. And that is what we're going to find now. So you can just click on I Need Help Filling Out These Fields and click on Open Docs. Inside of here, you will actually find that you need to come over to the Botfather. So if you scroll down, you can see that you can click on this Start a Chat with Botfather. So just click on that. Then it will get this pop up right here, and you just need to click on Start Bot, and you will be sent this message right here from the Botfather. And all I need to do in here is just click on this New Bot, and he will prompt you with another message here to basically have you name the bot. And once you have successfully named the bot, he will send you this message right here, as you can see in the bottom here, where he will uh, enter your or add your API key, which you need to use in inside your N10 uh, workflow. So you just need to copy that and get back over to the N10 workflow, and in here. As I said, in the create new credential, you just need to paste that in here, click on save, and then you have saved your credentials and you are good to go inside of the NET and Telegram node. You just need to click on test step to actually confirm that we have a connection to Telegram. Head back over to your Telegram. I just need to turn my camera back on. Back over to your Telegram and you just need to go over to the new bot you just made because you will have a new chat with that bot. And you just need to say something like, hey, and that should then, as you can see, trigger the workflow. And as you can see in here, we have the message right here, which says, hey. So that is the first step. Very nice. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the AI agent, which is what we're going to use to actually build the AI agent and have a custom message back to us using that AI agent and also do some custom actions. So for now, we will actually go ahead and use a define below. Because inside this agent, we want to have the text set to whatever text we sent inside the Telegram message. So we're just going to drag that, let me see, hey, over here to the text. Now what we can do is we can just test this one to see whether it works. And we don't have a chat model uh, connected, which is something we need. So just click on plus here, and we just want to add uh, ChatGPT. So we can just use the 4.0 mini. As in, and again here, you need to just create a new credential and add your API key from the OpenAI API. And then you are connected to your OpenAI account. And we can now test this AI agent. And as you can see, we get a little output here, which should be a, how can I assist you today or something like that. Uh, let me see. Yep, <laughs> how can I assist you today? Beautiful. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to actually add some tools here, which is what we're going to, so the AI agent can do some custom actions because that is what, that's the cool thing about the AI agents. It is actually not just a, an AI that gives you a response. It can also do some custom actions. So first of all, actually, we're going to add some memory because then the chat actually, the agent actually has the memory of the chat. We just keep, we're going to keep that five for now. You can set it to whatever you want. You can set it to have a really big uh, memory. So it remembers a lot of the conversation that will basically just make the agent uh, remember the conversation inside of the, the telegram. And now we can add these tools that we want to use. So for now, I will want to add a calendar tool because I actually want to make some changes to my, or add some events and create some, an update some event, events, et cetera, and also find my daily events inside my Google Calendar. So what I'm going to do is, as you see, this has uh, used the create operation and it now has it to start from now and end at plus one hour. And that means basically that every time the AI agent creates an event, it will be set to now and end in one hour. We don't want that. So what we actually can do is we can, first of all, I just need to enter my own calendar in here. And again, you need to connect to your Google Calendar just by creating a new credential and then just signing in with Google and clicking on save and then you're good to go. Uh, close that, yep. So what we're actually going to do is going to let AI def define this themselves. So we're just going to click on this because that makes the AI define it themselves and do the same for this one. So uh, that should be good to go and we can add the next tool right here. And now I'm going to add a tool called Gmail because we are going to actually be able to send some Gmails and we are going to send this to 
let, once again, let AI decide who to send it to, what the subject is going to be, and we're going to send this in a text format, the emails go to be in text, and we're also going to set the message to be whatever the AI defines it to be. This is the body of the email. And for now, we are also going to add some contacts so the email can send the, uh, so the AI agent can send the emails to our contacts. So we can just look up Google, uh, Google Sheets because that's where I have my contacts. You can add your own CRM tool or wherever you have stored your contacts. And I'm going to, once again, connect to my Google Sheets account. You need to create some credentials there as well, but I'm not going to go through that right now. What we're going to do here is we actually are going to get some rows and from the contacts list. So I just search for contacts. These are my contacts and we are going to get that from sheet one. Very nice. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to test this out because in my Google Sheets, I have a couple of, as I said, a couple of contacts. So now we're going to tell Telegram or this agent through Telegram that we actually want to create an event or a meeting with one of our contacts and also send an email to them, letting them know that we want to create that meeting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, uh, I'm also going to click on test workflow. So this actually is working and once we have set up this full workflow, we'll click on active to make this active. So you can just send this uh, agents and message whenever you want. Before, but before we do that, I'm actually going to give this AI agent some context. So it actually knows both what time of day it is and also what these tools do. So first of all, I'm just going to go into the AI agent here and we are going to add a little system message. As you see, the predefined system message is your helpful assistant, which is something we can use. We can also just say that the dates and time is now I can actually use some curly brackets here and add a little dollar sign and say now. So the AI agent, uh, AI agent actually gets this, if you click on expression here, as you can see, we actually get this date time right here. So the AI agent has context of what time it is right now, which is super helpful. And also it doesn't know that this Google Sheets actually, it only knows that it reached, reached Sheets. So we're going to set this description here to manually. And we're going to say, before this read update and write to Google Sheets, we're going to say, uh, use this to get contact information. Very nice, there we go. And now we're going to test this by clicking on test workflow. And we're going to say, uh, please set up a meeting with Pablo tomorrow at, let's say 3 p.m. and let him know. No, there we go. As you can see, we got this error message right here saying that a window buffer memory uh, doesn't have a session ID, which is true. So we're going to go in here and we're going to say, as you can see, it doesn't have a json.session ID. So we're actually going to say define below and we're going to use this ID here to set the, basically set the key. Now, so now I'm going to test this once again by clicking on test workflow and then we're going to paste that same message inside here and then we're going to see what happens. And as you can see, it goes ahead and uses the OpenAI chat model and now it creates a, an event in Google Calendar and sends a Gmail, but it actually hasn't fetched my Google or my contacts for my Google Sheets. So it actually can't send an email to the right person. So we're going to fix that. And also, uh, as you probably see in here, yeah, right. When it created this uh, event, the event is called no title, which is something we don't want. So we're going to fix those two things right now. We are going to first tell the system message here a little bit more about what it's going to do. I'm just going to tell it, Whenever you send an email, you must first find the email of the person you want to send it to before by using the get contacts tool. So we're actually going to rename this tool to get contacts. So now the the um, rename here. Now the AI agent will understand what it needs to do before it actually can send an email. So we rename that to get contacts, and now we can test this workflow once again. And once again, we go into Telegram and we paste that in here once again. And now we can see what it does. Now we can see it get the contacts information, and it also. Uh, adds the Google Calendar event, but now it was able to send an email. We can also update the Google Calendar here to actually be able to set a title. So the title is actually called Summary uh, inside of this node right here. And you can also, once again, just let AI handle that. And we also want a description, which is going to be handled by AI. Once again, there we go. Just click on that button and we should now be good to go to test the workflow once again. And now it should be handling this much better. So you can just send this message once again. And now we'll go ahead, fetch the contacts. Then it should add the calendar event. There we go. And also send an email. So we can go ahead and see what happened right here. And we also get a little message back. As you can see here, now we have a meeting with Pablo, not a not, no title. Very nice. And we also should have gotten an email. As you can see here, we got an email from myself. Really nice. And we can now 
go ahead and actually just send a message back to Telegram because we get an output from the AI agent telling us probably that it had a successful, yeah, there you go, just sending us the details of the event. And we can just send that back to Telegram by just finding Telegram in here. Telegram, there we go. And we can just send a chat. Let me just see. Send a message, send a text message. There we go. Really nice. Back to the same chat ID. So we need to find that chat ID from Telegram. So you can just find that chat ID, drag it over here. And the text you want to send is obviously what we got from the chat output or the AI agent output right here. Drag that in there. Super nice. Then we can test that step to see whether or not we actually get a Telegram message. We do. Super nice. As you can see, this is uh, really nice for nicely formatted. So what we can do now, whether we want to use this AI agent, uh, like whenever you just send a message to that uh, Telegram channel, you can just click on active. There we go. And now your uh, Telegram AI agent is good to go. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe. And if you want to work with me, you can click the link in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.